What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer and today I'm going to show you how to quickly add icons into Figma using a product called Font Awesome. Font Awesome is a web-based tool that makes it easy to add icons to Figma or in the web. They have a free tier if you just want to try it out and they also have the pro version which is better if you're working with a lot of different product design files and you need more unique icon styles. I've been using Font Awesome for almost a year now and it's sped up a lot of my workflow especially when I'm earlier in the idea stage. Let's take a look at how to actually install Font Awesome. First I am going to go to the link that I've listed below in the video and I would go to the start tab on their website. You can see here there's all this information about getting a free kit which you can get a free kit code. You can set up Font Awesome, add icons. This is all for use on the web. If you go down here and you go to this section that says in desktop apps, you can go to click here. And from there, you've got this section that says use Font Awesome on desktop. And if I go to this button here, I can click on start with fonts. And then you go to download the Font Awesome v6 files, click on this. And if you see here, Font Awesome 6 is their latest version, which was released this month. You can go to the section that says for desktop. If you are a pro user you download pro for desktop and if you're free you download free for desktop select download and then you would go to your finder and then you'd have a thing here it says font awesome free and then if you go into that folder you would have the otfs and then you could install those for yourself i have pro so that's what we'll be using for this video but that's the way that you would install it from there you would open figma and then i'm using font awesome pro but let's try out how this actually works in action so i'm going to take this and i'm going to replace all that text with the word bars and you see it doesn't do anything but if I type in font awesome and down here I'll go to pro I've used free in the past but I'm gonna use pro for this video then that would change to a bars icon if I go here type heart I'm going to make the same font change so let's do font awesome pro let's change this to say just phone again I will make that same change I can do the same thing down here for the words taco gear and snake select all of these on uh, awesome pro and then i have different icons here that i can not only change the color i could also change the style so if i go to this i change them all to thin you'll get these thin stroked icons if i go to light they'll be a little heavier regular will be even heavier and if I go to solid, it'll be really intense. Another cool feature, which you might not know about, is let's say I take this, and instead of going with pro, I'm gonna change this to say brands, and then I'm gonna change this to Twitter, and then I'll bring this down here, and I'll have this say Facebook. Let's do two more. I'll say Instagram, and let's say TikTok. And I'm, I'm able to really easily change fonts to the logo rather than a, an icon that might be more generic. I like using Font Awesome when working with a design that has a lot of different icon types because it's faster and less limited than a typical icon library. If you're working with a developer team that has this license implemented too, it's very easy for them to use. They have a library of over 25,000 icons you can choose from, and that's continuing to grow and it's much cheaper than paying to get custom icons made. On the flip side of things, it's important to remember that if you're making really nuanced visual design choices, it can feel pretty generic, and they also have a limited number of styles. They obviously have different weights, but if you want something that's more sharp or more brutalist or just more stylized in general, you're not gonna be able to get that through this library. Uh, another thing to note is if you have a brand with a very specific tone or um, visual style that you're going to, it's gonna be difficult to align these icons to that style. Uh, another thing is that icon design is a valuable skill. I linked to a few different icon designers that I've seen on Twitter that are doing some really interesting work, both in terms of custom icons, but also animating those icons. So it's a great tool to increase your kind of productivity when working on stuff quickly. But if you're trying to make something that's super, super polished, you might still want to go with kind of handmade custom icons. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of Font Awesome, how it works, and feel comfortable implementing it into your workflow next time you're working on a design project. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Your support really means a lot, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next one.